Watching this video, you will learn how to get contact points on your design right using the Contacts tool. We have now tested and validated improved contact values for the materials and milling machines available for the Trias Design Studio. With the automatic contacts functionality, you can therefore achieve great contacts from the very first day of use. This means you have to spend less effort on grinding and finishing to get the perfect fit. The contacts tool can be found in the anatomy design step. Among the design tools. This tool gives you a great opportunity to adjust the contact points on your design. You can do that both for contacts with adjacent teeth as well as occlusal contacts with the antagonist. When selecting the contacts tools, the view is changed to show the restoration from the proximal side. At the same time, the center view clipping tool is enabled and will allow you to see through neighboring teeth while working on contact points. Click the Show Distance Map tool to see the contact points. The values on the map can be modified by slider. Now you can see the current contact points with their range and value. Both parameters can be modified using the Adjacent Contacts tool to obtain desired contact points. The software comes with predefined contact values for the chosen material and milling machine. In this case, the value minus 0.02 for Emacs will provide a good contact fit, taking all necessary offsets and drill compensation into consideration. You can also set the value of the contact points manually. All positive numbers will give you looser contact points between the design and the adjacent teeth. Zero means that the design is equal with the scan. All negative numbers will give the design tighter contact points. There may be small differences depending on the material used and offsets and compensation settings for them. When the value is set, click the play button to have it applied. It is also possible to adjust the shape of the contact areas. The blue marks on the scan indicate the contact area that the software will adjust the design to. These are calculated automatically. Then use paint to add to the contact area shape. The radius of the paint tool can be modified. Click Shift and scroll the mouse wheel to do that. You can use the Erase tool to decrease the range and change the shape of the contact surface. When the value and shape are set, click the Play button to apply it. Note that the adjacent contact tool will increase the size of the tooth to create desired contact points if needed. To remove the contact area, use the Clear button. To restore the initial contact points, click the Restore button. The Occlusal Contacts tool allows you to set the value of occlusal contacts. Please remember that it only has the possibility to cut material to get the desired occlusal contact point. It does not add material to build up the design to the contact. Once set, click the play button to have it applied. The changes will be applied in the given static occlusion. To learn how to adjust occlusal contact points in dynamic articulation, watch the Trios Design Studio Virtual Dynamic Articulator video. When you click Next and your design collides with the antagonist, you will be informed by a pop-out that there are hard contacts. You will be given the option to accept and continue or cancel and adjust your design. Now you know how to get contact points on a designed restoration right. Thank you for watching.